Tomlinson has told the inquest into his death she had lost the love of her life. Earlier she broke down in tears as new images of her husband's last moments were shown to the court. The footage shows him trying in vain to find a way out of the G20 protests, his path repeatedly blocked by police. More footage also showed the movements of PC Simon Harwood, the Metropolitan Police officer who struck and then pushed Mr Tomlinson to the ground shortly before he died. Our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel was in court for the first day of evidence. The coroner, Judge Peter Thornton QC, here on the right, took the jury to the scene in the heart of the City of London. He told them there is no final decision yet on whether the death of Ian Tomlinson would lead to the prosecution of a police officer or not. But the jury didn't just visit the scene today to get an understanding of what happened on April the 1st, 2009. They were shown two DVDs, each of them tracking both Ian Tomlinson and PC Simon Harwood before, during and after the two collided here in this passageway with such tragic consequences. The path of the 47-year-old news vendor began at Monument Tube Station, caught on CCTV leaving work. At around the same time, PC Harwood was trying to haul a G20 protester up the street to police lines. Ian Tomlinson, the jury was told, had been drinking that day. His journey across the city and through the demonstrations was hindered by police cordons. We have highlighted this footage. One police line after another blocked his attempts to get to the hostel where he was staying. He met the same obstacle attempting shortcuts through alleyways. There's no sound with much of this footage. He turned round, tried a different road, then a different route, and ended up standing under a tree in the Royal Exchange thoroughfare. PC Harwood's movements, meanwhile, were shifting from one confrontation to another. Firstly, there was the demonstrator, then a TV cameraman, then he merges into the background behind dog handlers, before entering the very thoroughfare at the very moment Mr. Tomlinson is under the tree. The coroner described how the constable struck the father of nine on the left thigh with his baton and pushed him to the ground. Judge Thornton then highlighted the importance of just how Mr. Tomlinson fell, which he said one pathologist concluded that the right arm trapped under the body impacted with his liver, causing internal bleeding. From being on the ground, the 47-year-old is tracked, walking off, but then collapsing around the corner. He never recovered, despite immediate medical attention, all of which was filmed from above by a police helicopter, with officers wrongly describing Mr. Tomlinson as a protester. As Mr. Tomlinson lay dying, the officer who hit him was wandering back to his police van. For PC Harwood, was an assigned driver that day. The end of his DVD shows him leading a convoy away from the area. The coroner said PC Harwood's training and the instructions given to him that day would be one of the issues the jury would have to consider. So as we're reporting